Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here. We're also gender fluid. I may say you and I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking to you. Put yourself in the story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid, so I could be talking about the past, the present, or the future. Take only what resonates, leave the rest behind. If you'd like to book a personal, more aligned with your own story, all of my information is below in the description box. You can go directly to my website, enlightenedauntie.com, and you can book a session with me. My books are always open. Um, as you enter, if you could please give the video a thumbs up so we can circulate into the algorithm. Thank you guys so much. When I say we're like this close, I think the last number check I did, we're about 23 people shy of 4,000 followers, subscribers. So I appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed to my channel that keep supporting my work. Um, for those of you who have been going back and watching my archives, I see your comments. I see you guys are following those directions. I hope you're getting what you need out of those old videos, okay? Um, and for those of you who are new here, I usually tell folks, the energy of my readings reaches out into the future just a little bit so some parts of it may not resonate for you in the present but if you go back into my archives maybe six to eight months you may find some titles back there um that are more relevant to the storyline as you're living in it right now okay so let's just get started i've already pulled the oracles um i've been kind of sitting with this for a little bit really interesting energy in the current energy i feel like <sighs> I kind of want to, this is definitely for my collective, okay? Um, at least this portion of the reading definitely giving me collective energy. Um, I feel like whatever is going on in your life or whatever you've been building towards, I do feel like it's coming in. Um, I feel like, I'm sorry, I'm really distracted because my son is sleeping just outside my office. And he's snoring and i can hear it so i don't know if it's being picked up on the on the mic if it is i'm sorry <laughs> um anyway let's go so what's interesting is i feel like number one whatever it, you've been working towards or whatever is getting ready to come towards you i feel like you're completely ready for it um part of your lesson i feel like was for you to trust and listen to your intuition i also feel like it has a lot to do with your own faith that whatever you've been working towards is actually coming together i know that for a lot of you holding that faith holding that place of faith has been kind of challenging over the last several months a couple of years for those of us who've been doing this for a minute um and i feel like part of your lesson really was to kind of trust in divine timing trust the divine right that things were going to play out in divine timing and the way that they're supposed to um, especially as it relates to certain relationship dynamics that have come to an end um, and now I do feel like part of the obstacle that you may be dealing with in terms of whatever it is that you've been working on um, Whatever it is that you're doing in order to satisfy, you know, creating the foundation, um, there may, you, I think part of the struggle was wanting to say staying grounded in reality and not seeing, not re like kind of reading into things that aren't there. I feel like part of, you know, it's, it's kind of like not, not gaslighting yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like by staying staying the course and continuing to do the steps i feel like you may have struggled along the way um especially if you know again as you're starting to ascend in various stages of your life you will be tested and there will be roadblocks thrown in front of you one to see your conviction how serious are you about this thing that you're pursuing um two how much does it mean to you and the universe will test you repeatedly just to make sure that your heart is not only in the right place but your mind is matching where your heart is and everybody's you know following following the same plan okay um i think part of the struggle for you may have been you know somewhere along the journey may have having you know having these bright ideas for certain 
I keep hearing plateaus for certain plateaus or certain levels while you've been doing building. Um, and I feel like, you know, in some instances when things didn't really go as planned, it may have been because you might not have looked far enough out into the future to kind of look at all the com other components that may have needed to come into play. So there's that, and that message is specific for someone. Okay, now, from the bottom of the deck, I want to say what I really like is the very center row. I feel like you are definitely in the energy of going with the flow, being really flexible as you kind of ground into this new cycle that you're entering. I feel like you are, you have finally learned or finally come to a place of peace within your life, within your circumstances. I feel like you've made peace with your past. Um... And I feel like you've also, I feel like part of this piece comes from manifesting or manifesting peace. I feel like some of you have really been trying to, I heard, work out the demons, like exercise the demons from your life and focus really on staying in that peaceful state, right? Um, I also feel like part of all of this Part of, and I'm going to say because it's all, it's all pointing towards the, the lesson area here. I feel like part of the lesson here was also for you to not be afraid to walk away from connections and people with the soulmates card in the reverse. To, to not be afraid to take action and walk away from things that clearly have not been destined to be a part of this leg of your journey. Okay? Because you have to remember, everybody everybody that you encounter they serve a purpose you know people are are with you for a reason or a season and if it's just for a season then i feel like part of this energy was for you because you were trying to call this piece in you had to level up to a point where you were not afraid to walk away while like i said i've been saying it in previous readings while you may have done so with heavy heart you still went ahead and did it right um I also feel as though I kind of feel like as I said this is something that you've manifested or you've called into yourself remember that what you think about is what you create as above so below you know as without so within so it's kind of like what you're focusing on and how you are perceiving your life and, and what you're trying to call into yourself I feel like I'm talking to a group of people who have already put it in their minds it's kind of like when I talk about you know, everybody wants the Ten of Cups, but nobody really knows the problem with the Ten of Cups or wanting the Ten of Cups is the fact that a lot of people don't know how to quantify it. And I kind of feel like above all, your biggest focus was bringing peace back into your life, restoring the peace so that you can move forward away from your past, away from these past energies and be okay and not be afraid to be without them. Um, I am seeing the energy here. There is no energy. There's no energy here supporting a reconciliation or a second chance um, Because I feel like whatever this connection was There was either imbalance here or there's been some kind of injustice carried out and I feel like you may have I heard cried out to God to kind of like save you from the situation get you out of it untie me free me release me release me from my past restore the peace back into my life because I don't want to continue dealing with connections that are not meant to be a part of my reality I like it okay and I'm you know and it's interesting because I think too you may have also been in the energy I feel like whoever you may have people that are around you that are kind of anxious because you know I don't think you have any desire to like really do anything here I feel like you were more motivated to make moves and and to kind of forge your own way some of you may be having some difficulty in going with the flow oh this may not be you hold on okay so I'm kind of seeing here there's somebody here with anxiety or there's some restlessness here 
Um, I feel like there is an energy here of somebody either wanting some energy from you, like wanting you to reciprocate energy with them. Um, but I'm almost kind of, this energy makes me feel like they have an expectation of you doing, like doing the heavy lifting. Like if there's a problem with you guys or, you know, if there's some, you know, distance between you, I kind of feel like they want you to come in and, you know, clean up the mess. Um, I'm also seeing here, somebody may have made a decision to do something that potentially was unethical and I do feel like somebody may have a lot on their mind about it and there's a need here to, I heard come clean or need to like speak. There may be somebody having a difficult time, um, kind of a difficult time moving on from a tribe, a group of people, somebody being very unhappy Somebody's having a difficult time moving away from a group of people. And I feel like, again, this is this maybe this is the other side. So this could be the other person. Because um, I do see there's a need for some type of conversation, some type of dialogue, some type of honesty, actually. And there's a need for someone... I'm sorry. I heard a buzz. And my house is closed up. It is monitoring spirit season. But I hear it over here and I don't see anything. So, okay, never mind. <laughs> um, I do see where somebody here is upset. They're upset. They may be ostracized from a group and so they're not happy so they're having some difficulty in navigating for navigating something forward there is a story that someone has been telling that they no longer can tell does that make sense there's like a narrative somebody has been spinning and they can't do that anymore They can't, ooh, yeah, they can't do that anymore, ooh, they can't do that anymore. Somebody's been trying to spin a narrative, they're very unhappy, but they're trying to spin a narrative, they can no longer do that, especially if it was with this group of people. Um, the way things are panning out, they're panning out this way because it is divine timing. Um, again, things happen in divine timing, not our timing. And again, like all of the timing cards that we've pulled previously in other readings have been indicating that whatever is coming to a head should be coming to a head between now and say Thanksgiving. Okay. So, um, I do feel like somebody is being left out. I have orphaned here with the tribe in the reverse, and this is how it's supposed to be. Uh, and it's mainly because, and there's no reconciliation, there, there's no, there's no energy of reconciliation, um, for this person with this tribe as well, because this person, um, may be experiencing a bunch of, a bunch of upheaval in their life because this is someone who may have been presenting themselves one way and they are very much someone else. Um, I feel like. there's someone here okay this could be you collective this could be you i feel like you've been whatever you've been working on i do feel like this very protective energy where you've been trying to co-create with spirit and you're very protective of whatever it is that you've been working on i think you might focus a little too obsessively about Like it's one thing to want to be happy and you want, you know, you want your wish fulfilled. You want your wish fulfillment. You want to be happy, right? But remember, you have to remember that happiness starts from the inside. It's an inside job. Okay. So if there's something that you feel like you're lacking, it's up to you in order to find that space. Okay. But don't get caught here 
I feel like there's action that needs to be taken. Or there's action here that needs to be taken. But somebody refuses to go and they don't know why. Or somebody may need to ponder why. Ask the intentions or find or kind of discover the intentions of why they haven't moved on from a situation. And now it's funny because these cards and I've, I've, I'm, I've exhausted the whole deck. So these cards kind of look like, remember I've said, I think I want to say like maybe two readings ago or two or three readings ago where I said like, as soon as you receive message or you hear back from someone or you, it's like you receive some information. It's the last two cards that I'm looking at. It's kind of like you receive some information from someone that you know, message in a bottle in the reverse would imply to me that you, you know who this person is, you know, the source of this information. When you get this information, it will free you to allow you to move ahead and move forward to close out to finally close out the cycle i do feel like someone here has been working double time they see something only from their perspective there is someone here who's very ungrounded and really doesn't i kind of feel like spirits guiding them to see like to kind of step out of themselves to really see what's happening in their lives see what's happening between you two but this person really only sees things from their own point of view they really only see things from their own point of view i feel like this person also is really in need of thinking about their next steps and i don't think they've done that especially if their home life or their home is being called into question all of that just sounded like a big bunch of word soup so let's clarify look at that i actually like this because you're ready especially like i said if whatever you've been working towards um it's kind of like because financial constraints is in the reverse so definitely you're ready you're ready for whatever is getting this this abundance that's coming towards you you're prepared for it i feel like you've been working very diligently um other people may not necessarily see the value in what it is that you're doing but again you've been working towards a goal and it's it's working in your favor okay so keep doing what you're doing oh okay so remember when i talked about like the building blocks okay absolutely so <clears throat> you may have been working towards things not i feel like there there's potential either of you not recognizing that there are adjacent possibilities i kind of feel like you've if you've pigeonholed that's why it's like you, you may have not seen things totally clearly okay um I'm kind of getting the energy of <clears throat> thinking more outside of the box. <clears throat> okay, so what I just heard right now, I'm kind of getting a message of like, think bigger, go bigger, like go bigger, go home. Because honestly, we're in that time. I mean, I think jupiter is still in gemini you have all these possibilities that you have not yet kind of worked out or even thought of that absolutely have the potential to earn you some money earn you a lot of money listen i like this i like this energy and I do get the sense that there is a little bit of impatience on your part. So I do feel like part of this lesson here was for you to just have faith in God and trust in the process. Trust in the process. That's literally all you have to trust. Trust in the process. Listen to your intuition, your healing. Um, you're healing, you know, a broken heart and feeling a lack of appreciation. 
Um, you finally learned how to, you know, balance your own energy. Release attachments. Being honest. Being honest. I love it. Being honest. I am getting the sense here that there's a need for you to really stay rooted and trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Okay. All right. Let's drill down. And I just bought like three or four new decks. And one of them I completely misplaced. And I've been wanting to use it. I just don't know what to do with it. feel like you had to make a really tough decision it kind of feels like you may have had to make a firm decision it's kind of like being stuck in the past and being stuck in this painful energy or choosing to move past it and and heal right i think you've opted you opted for the healing <laughs> you opted for starting over mm -hmm. i also feel too there's a situation where oh you could be dealing with somebody who is very close-minded i'm also getting to okay i'm totally different thing here i'm getting you may have been feeling like you had to like if you struggled financially if you struggled financially um i kind of feel like you if you felt like it wasn't changing like nothing was changing and it was always going to be like that um I'm hearing delay, not deny, right? I do get the sense that you there. You, there's been impatience here. You've been impatient as it relates to your manifestations. You may have even been worried that something was going to come to an end, but it's not. I don't feel like this is an ending. I feel like this is just, it's a delay. I feel like you're gonna get you're getting good karma for whatever it is that you've been putting out yeah you've been I do feel like you've been really worried you've been worried in almost in an obsessive kind of manner you've been really worried um, also kind of worried about like your plans failing or it's kind of like things that just ruminate in your mind especially if you if you've got like financial constraints if you've been dealing with financial constraints i think you may you may even like i want to say low-key obsess about it. like on one hand everything is good right but you still worry because that's what this is it kind of it kind of feels like i'm good but <laughs> i am still a little bit worried about all these additional stressors i'm i am worried that i'm maybe that things may not turn out the way that i expect them to or that things are not going to be you know as i'm working so hard that things are going to change like there's a, a there's a serious focus here where you are concerned about that you're concerned again i'm going back to as above so below as within so without this is about changing the way that you see things glass half empty glass half full this is about changing the way that you see things because i do feel like you you're stressing yourself out <laughs> you're stressing yourself out worrying about whether or not you're doing the right thing or making the right investments of time and energy um now i'm getting something else here 
I feel like there is someone who may want to come and approach you with an apology. They're a little bit stressed out about approaching you because you're in a really good energy. I'm also seeing here too, this person may have done something. Remember we're talking about something that all that glitters, somebody did something and, and they, they went after something that they thought was shiny and pretty and it might have been a rusty penny. This kind of feels like an obsession with something financial, something that someone thought would be a wish fulfillment, but now they're stressed out because it turned out to be a poor investment financially and now they're on the opposite end of the wheel. So now they may be losing things, losing resources, losing, you know, running out of options, not necessarily having these adjacent possibilities. Um, and I feel like this person may want, want to approach you due to their current circumstances. Okay, and on this side, what it looks like, since I, I started with this one thing, but I'm looking at it now and it kind of feels like somebody is very they're heartbroken that something has come to an end um they may have been hoping to delay final judgment in terms of you making that final decision that you know like i don't want to deal with this um somebody here may be unnerved upset drinking themselves silly because they're unhappy okay remember i said here like you, you were supposed to part of the lesson here was like listening to your intuition trusting you know having faith in god listening to your intuition in order to like put an end to a certain situation connection circumstance whatever right because i do see where there's there's some a bit of impatience here it's funny because especially if you happen to be an entrepreneur i feel like there's something here about taking a leap of faith to no longer put in effort and energy like to stop because when i see the nine of wands in the reverse yes i know it's the wounded warrior and all that other stuff but i look at it as kind of like the repetitive action whatever somebody's been doing repetitively like at the end when it's in the reverse it's kind of like i'm not doing this anymore <laughs> it's causing me a whole bunch of stress and a lot of burdens i have no more energy to give to this i just do not want to continue doing this right taking a leap of faith to nine of wands in the reverse i don't want to do this anymore it may have something to do with being a boss or taking things into your own hands or taking control of something taking the lead So maybe somebody doesn't want to be their own boss anymore so if you are an entrepreneur maybe you don't want to do that anymore um i'm also seeing too whatever like if we piggyback off of the tarot these tarot cards it kind of feels like somebody here who can't let go of the past i definitely have energy of somebody who does who can't who's struggling with releasing past past energies um, I also see somebody here who's not necessarily taking responsibility for whatever they've been doing or have done repetitively that may be coming to light. I also get the impression here that somebody has somebody is, is is unhappy because you've chosen to focus on the things that are important to you and if you don't deem this person or situation as important they're upset that you've taken your eye off of them they're no longer the focal point i feel like you've chosen i feel like you elected to walk away from something in order to kind of focus again focus on yourself focus on you know your healing and focus on your creations focus on your family and because you made that decision to do that somebody's kind of unhinged yeah because you made that choice you made that choice i feel like spirit decided to give you another opportunity 
again remember i said in the at the, at the beginning with the with the oracles it's kind of like walking away from a situation where it's like choosing to walk away from your past past connections in favor of new opportunities new connections and new situations the chariot you're like i made my choice and now i'm out <laughs> And then I feel like once you, I also kind of feel like there's someone here who, like, if you have, what I can see is you're somebody who is very content being alone, working alone, working by yourself, working solo, okay? I do get the energy of somebody who potentially may be like, uh, this is the energy of someone who's digging into your life, trying to figure, I said this in, in last like four readings somebody looking into your life looking into your business wanting to know what you're doing because they're blocked they don't have any access to you so they might be watching you on social media they may be looking up you know looking you up online and what they see you do listen what they see you doing and they're not happy about it they, they what they see you doing is they see you thriving they see you coming up while while you've been in hiding. It's not even in hiding. You're just kind of isolating yourself. I feel like you you're coming up with all kind of brilliant ideas and you're executing them. And somebody is not happy about that. And you're protected. Okay. Not only are you protected, you're standing your ground. Whatever the position is that you took when you exited, you're like, nah. This is how it is. This is where it's gonna be. I'm not entertaining it. Eh, no, right? Yeah, whoever you were dealing with, whoever this person is in the past they were very one-sided i do get the energy of somebody who may have breadcrumbed you and i said they're not taking any responsibility for what they've done they wanted you to kind of just hang out there and just stag they wanted to stagnate your ass they did not want you to move forward they wanted you to stand still stand still stay here with me mm -mm. you may be a creative you could be an artist look at you walked away yeah you walked away because whatever was going on in your past it was unfair and there was a lot of breadcrumbing there was a lot of breadcrumbing and a lack of accountability 